Hello family, welcome to Yeshua's Walk with me. Um, I just wanted to get on real quick um, and talk about for a second the um, peace deal that's being signed. Also, a disclaimer, if you hear dogs barking or whatever, <laughs> you know, um, excuse it. <laughs> so um, just, but really quick, the main thing is, is that uh, Trump, um, I do believe it was signed today, just a few hours ago. I believe, but I'm not 100%, um, the Israel peace deal. And um, Trump, I just wanted to bring to people's attention that Trump has been put on several of several coins um, from Israel and being sold so they to go towards helping build the third temple. Um, and this, they're calling this peace deal the Abrahamic Accord, but Trump wanted it to be called the Trump Accord. And on this coin, um, there was a piece of scripture from Jeremiah cited that was an excerpt, and not even the whole scripture. It was just a little, like a sentence. Um, and I just wanted to read that to you and then um, tell you what the Holy Word truly says. Uh, in that Bible verse that was taken out of context. So the verses, or what, what's on the coin, it says, For I will give you lasting peace in this place. Jeremiah 14, 13. What the word truly says is, I'm going to read 14, 13 through um, 16. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination, and a thing of naught, and the deceit of their hearts. Therefore, thus said the Lord, concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. And the people to whom they prophesy, to whom thy prophesy shall be cast into the streets of Jerusalem because of famine and the sword, and they shall not have and they shall have none to bury, bury them, their wives, their sons, their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. And then um, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, um, some of you maybe think that God uh, placed Trump in office. God places everybody in office. But gone are the days of Hezekiah and David. Okay, there, he said there's not going to be another one of those. So what Trump is being used by the Lord to fulfill prophecy. Trump is not who everybody wants him to be. He's not. And it clearly just, I mean... The scripture that he they chose um, reveals it all, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. And I hope um, everyone is drawing really close to him and the Lord. And I um, just want to say I love you guys. And peace, grace. And big hugs. Talk to you soon.